What it do, baby? <laughs> What's good, y'all? Let's add one. And this is before you watch spoiler free reviews. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe and absolutely make sure you hit that notification bell because things are about to start reopening, which means my reviews dropping once a week are coming back. It's been a long, long time. My last review was for Judas and the Black Messiah currently on HBO Max. It won a Golden Globe. I think it won a few Golden Globes. So if you haven't seen my review, I suggest you go check it out right now. This movie I'm about to review, it is on Amazon Prime Video. And Amazon Prime does have some joints people just don't be checking for because they're so busy watching Netflix. So before I jump into this review, yes, I do know that it's been 20 to 30 years since the first one. Coming to America. It's not coming to America 2. It's coming then the number two, America. I watched the first movie again. And then I watched this movie. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> when that trailer dropped, I did not finish watching it. <laughs> I watched like 15 to 20 seconds of that trailer. I said, oh, no, this movie looks awful. No way, Jose. But, you know, I said I'm going to do it because I'm going to watch the movie for the culture. Everybody in their mom's going to want to hear what I got to say about it. And between this movie and Bad Boys 3, this movie definitely had more hype in terms of it coming out. Now we're just waiting on the next Friday. Ice Cube said it's not going to happen, but listen, if that check clears, it's going to happen. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so the hype around coming to America is so, is so big that white folks, like middle-aged white folks were out here like, yo, I can't wait to watch this movie. I feel like everybody in their mom was watching this movie this weekend. So Amazon knew what they were doing. And the second you log into Amazon Prime, the first thing you see is Coming to America, the first one, and then this one on Now Playing. So they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Give you a quick synopsis here. Prince Akeem, who is Eddie Murphy, finds out he has a son, so he has to go back to America to build a relationship. That's all I'm going to say, so I don't spoil anything else for you. One thing I did like about this film, every black celebrity under the sun is in this movie. <laughs> I don't like how they're put in, though, because a lot of them don't have any importance to the story. But, you know what I'm saying, it is hard out here for a lot of black actors in Hollywood and black actresses in Hollywood. So sh shout out to Eddie Murphy for pretty much being the DJ Khaled of acting at this point. <laughs> Another thing I liked about this movie was that it's an hour and 40 minutes as opposed to two hours. Because let me tell you something, I could not sit through two hours of this movie. I couldn't even sit through the hour and 40. <laughs> after that, the, after those two, that, those are the only things I like about this movie because no, 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 no. Everybody on social media is trying to give it all types of excuses. Oh, it's been 30 years. What did you expect? Comedy has changed. Society has changed. Everybody's so uh, sensitive now. I like the movie. You got to just take it for what it is. Nah, bro. Don't let these people bullshit you. Cause, and I'm sorry, pardon my language, but it's bullshit. Don't let them bullshit you. The movie is not good. It's just not good. And for the people that sit here and say, oh, it's not that bad. Okay, then tell me, what's that good? What's that good? I didn't, I only laughed one time in this movie. And that's when Tracy Morgan said this line when him and his nephew were going to a job interview. And that was that. Every scene where they were uh, quote unquote attempting to be funny or making a joke, I just didn't find it hilarious. I just didn't, I didn't find it funny at all. I didn't even chuckle, you know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't even get a chuckle out of me. It's like, no, uh-uh, I'm sorry. All of the black celebrities in this film, it's dope seeing them make, a, make some type of cameo, but the fake accents were running rampant. They were everywhere. And when I saw Rick Ross on the screen, I was like, bro, no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Like, why are these people in this movie? They tried to take the entire formula pretty much that worked for the first movie and tried to make it for this one, and it just didn't work. It's just lazy screenwriting and it's bad filmmaking. I'm sorry. It's just terrible. Like, so much, there was, there was also so much product placement. The first scene in the movie, they're at the McDowell's and they're pretty much making a joke about people going 
vegan and eating healthy and they're and then they're like well you should wash this burger down with a pepsi the official drink of mcdowell's in <clears throat> excuse me in zamunda and then there's pepsi signs everywhere i was like okay okay i see exactly what happened here pepsi pepsi gave y'all a big check you had to write it into the movie okay cool fair enough still not a funny scene then there's another history there's a historical inaccuracy right Leslie Jones is in there and I do like Leslie Jones. I just didn't like her in this movie. She's in there and um, she's talking about how she was a thought back in the day. She did not use that word. She called herself a hoe. Um, her words, not mine. She said she was a hoe back in the day and that she should have been selling it pretty much, you know, saying she should have been a prostitute. But then she says, I should have been selling it in my Fashion Nova dress back then. Fashion Nova was not around back then come on bro like nah like don't insult that's my intelligence right now that's and then there's a fashion over store and the scene when he goes to the barbershop that's when i'm like yo at this point it's just getting blatant it's getting disrespectful but at the same time i can't blame them for you know what i'm saying you gotta pay the sponsors gotta get you gotta shed some light on them okay cool that's fine leslie jones is in the pool i mean she's in the jacuzzi the hot tub whatever her son comes over. Oh, some women want to bathe me. Oh, you know, you're in a different country. Leslie Jones, you're in a different country. People do different things. A man comes out of there. Oh, the royal vagina is, is clean, my queen. And I'm like, I called it. It's so predictable. Everything that was funny in the first one, they tried to make it funny. They tried to add it to this one like it was going to be funny. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's like hearing the same joke over and over and over again. It just does not work. It doesn't work. The movie dragged. There's a uh, there's random scenes in there that like jump into song and dance. And I'm like, is this a movie or is this a Broadway play? I'm seeing Gladys Knight. I'm seeing Salt and Pepper making raps about Michael B. Jordan and Denzel. And I was just like, I just couldn't do it. It was corny as hell. And I get it, times have changed and comedy has changed, but I'm sorry, there's cartoons like BoJack Horseman, Big That's Mouth, <laughs> South Park, like Family Guy, and other TV shows that are way more offensive than Coming to America, the first one ever was, and they're still funny. So anybody trying to use that as an excuse is not fine with me. I'm sorry. It's just not fine with me because we know what it is. It's just poor writing. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. The movie is embarrassing to watch. It's just really embarrassing to watch. Anybody who can tell me what they thought about this movie that was so good, I really want to know a logical explanation outside of times have changed. Eddie Murphy did the best that he could. You know what I'm saying? And my thing with Eddie Murphy is after dream girls i really haven't seen a good i really haven't seen him put out a good movie dolomite was good but it really to me it wasn't funny and i think that's why wesley snipes is in this movie because they worked on dolomite together so they just said oh you know i got a role for coming to america blah 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 and that was that i just no it just wasn't mm -mm. you can look at this movie and sometimes you think it looks like Black Panther because they tried to take a lot of the aesthetics in terms of the wardrobe from it, too. The gentleman that plays Eddie Murphy's son in this film, he starts out, he has like this afro and then he gets his hair cut and he has dreads. He literally walks out looking like um, Michael B. Jordan in Black Panther, like like what like what is going on here he's got the whole dreads to the side with the side saved the, the side shaved and he's got the long ponytail that prince Akeem had i'm like what like what is this like what are we like what are we watching what are we watching it's no mm -mm, no lazy screenwriting bad filmmaking there's just no excuse for it there's just no excuse for it like no, no, I don't want to watch this movie again. I'm not recommending this movie to anybody. They should never made this movie. I, f I just feel like some movies you just shouldn't, you shouldn't remake them. You shouldn't make a sequel. It's been way too long. Eddie Murphy is not about that life anymore where he's super duper raunchy and over the top. Like you just can't do it. You can't do it. Can't do it. They should have left it alone. They should have left it alone. If they wanted to make a spin-off movie, sure, that's fine. A sequel, no, mm -mm, no, no do not recommend <laughs> i do not recommend and if i could i'd write a letter to amazon and tell them to take it off because <laughs> this movie this movie is awful awful on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a four yeah i'm a scale on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a four a strong four you're lucky you got that <laughs> you're lucky you got that the makeup looks awful 
Arsenio Hall looks awful. It's no, uh, uh they they pack so much makeup on these guys. Their skin looks like clay. I just can't do it. I can't do it. For the people that sit here and say, oh well, the movie got better at the end. You need to be a little bit more productive with your time because if you can go 90 minutes, <laughs> if you could go 90 minutes through a garbage movie and hope that 30 seconds out of the movie is good enough to uh, is good enough to justify you watching it. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. I got way more other, be way more better things to do with my time. But that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just stop ranting now. It's been long enough. Don't watch the movie, please. Don't watch this and be like, oh well, now you want me to make you make me want to watch the movie. Don't do it. Don't. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. I watched Sonic the Hedgehog two weeks ago. That was a way better movie. If you have an option, watch that. <laughs> this movie, no, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's my final review. I'm out of here, yo. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.